Okay, hi everybody. This is <clears throat> day eight midterm test review video. And very basically, I'm going to go through every question and just explain the correct answer. Questions one to six were vocabulary questions. So number one, do you think training elephants for treks in Thailand is animal? Right, so as I told you in the practice, animal is a set with abuse. Animal abuse. Do you think training elephants for treks in Thailand is animal abuse? Tigers are blank and there are not many left in the wild. Okay, so tigers are melts, doesn't work. Tigers are protects. Doesn't work. Tigers are species. No, not really. Tigers are a species of cat, a species of big cat. But you would have to say tigers are a species. So the correct answer must be endangered. And that is related to the rest of the sentence. There are not many left in the wild. Number three, pets blank on people to feed and take care of them. Right, a few of you noticed there was a mistake in the question. We shouldn't have included the on, but, well, it was just a big hint. So the answer was obviously depend on. Pets depend on people to feed and take care of them. Number four, global warming is a blank to the survival of many animals. Threat, endangered, Cruel, suffer. Okay. Well, let's see if they work. Global warming is a threat. Global warming is a endangered. That doesn't work. Global warming is a cruel. No. Global warming is a suffer. There's only one that can work with a. A threat. So, there you go. Global warming is a threat to the survival of many animals. Number five, some people are very blank to their animals when they get angry with them. Sources, issue, cruel, suffer. The answer is obviously cruel. Some people are very cruel to their animals when they get angry with them. They hit them and they do bad things, bad things, cruel, cruel. Number six, cutting down forests endangers many bird and animal habitats. The answer is habitats. Cutting down forests endangers many bird and animal habitats. Seven to nine, what, oh, there's a mistake in the spelling there. What does the modal express? So this was the one that was about obligation or no obligation, prohibition, which means you cannot do something, and advice. So here's the little part in the book again. Have to, have got to, and need to, or must, before a verb, indicate something is an obligation. In other words, it is necessary. And don't have to, or don't need to, that indicates that something is not an obligation. Uh, we use must not to say that something is prohibited or not allowed. And should or ought to for advice. Okay, so that's just reviewing what we've already studied in the book. So number seven, what does the modal express? It might be a good idea to teach other people about endangered species. It might be. Might is for advice. It might be a good idea. Number eight. What does the modal express? Humans have to protect animals in order for them to survive. Have to. Obligation. Humans have to protect animals. It's an obligation. Number nine. What does the modal express? In my country, hunters mustn't go near any endangered animals. Mustn't. Must not. Prohibition. Okay, it's like you're banned. You cannot. Okay, number 10. 
Choose the correct signpost in word list that is best to fill in the blanks. Okay, so we've got like a sort of short paragraph here. The introduction, have you ever read a book that has changed or helped guide you in life? In my opinion, this book can change your life in a negative and positive way. Body one, so blank. Let's look at the negative side of the book. Body two, blank. Let's take a look at the positive side of the book. This book can motivate you to start your own business. Blank, the overall lesson, blah, blah, blah. And then conclusion blank. So three of these words start the, the, the paragraph and the other one is in body two. Right, so here are the options. The first blank starts the first paragraph of the body. So if, just immediately I would guess that B is probably the right answer because the first blank looks like it should say first. Let's see if it works. First, let's look at the body two. Next, and then also furthermore in the same paragraph. And then look, in the conclusion, in conclusion. So yes, B. 11, it seems like there are more natural blank these days, like wildfires in Australia and typhoons in Asia. Okay, wildfires, typhoons, they are examples of? B, disasters. Blank problems like air pollution can be difficult to solve. So, benefit problems like air pollution? Nah. Environmental problems? Yeah, that probably works. Alternative problems? Hmm, could be. Solution problems? That doesn't work. So, it's B or C. But, the example is air pollution. Well, air pollution is the environment. So, it must be B. If an area is extremely dry, there is a greater blank of wildfires. There is a greater environmental? No. There is a greater disaster? Not really. There is a greater risk? Yeah, that seems to work. There is a greater solution? It's not a solution. It's a risk. 14. A hurricane can cause a blank for a community because of the damage from wind and rain. A hurricane can cause a it's a, uh, so we need to have a noun. A, uh, provide is not a noun. Solution, yeah. Is a hurricane a solution? No. Is it a, a system? No. A hurricane can cause a crisis for a community. Different countries have different blank for providing healthcare to their people. The answer is B, systems. Different countries have different systems. 16. Continue and finish this counter-argument sentence. Some people say that nuclear energy is more affordable than solar and wind energy. Okay, so this is from the book. Making counter-arguments. Right, you remember this? You guys did it. So the first person would say, some people think that solar and wind energy... Right, so in our example in the question, some people say that nuclear energy... And what you're going to do is you're going to make a counter-argument. That means the opposite side. So, some people say that nuclear energy is more affordable than solar and wind energy. Here is an example answer. However, I don't agree with that. Right, now you need to tell us why. You can't just say, I don't agree. That is not good enough. There was a few people that just put, I don't agree. No, a counter-argument means you have to argue, you have to show your point. However, I don't agree with that. Solar panels and wind turbines are a lot cheaper to build and maintain if there are, uh, sorry, and if there happens to be an accident with them, the cost would be low compared to a nuclear factory accident. Right, well that's very detailed. You didn't have to do it that detailed, by the way, but you had to say, I don't agree, and you had to tell us why. 17. Complete this sentence giving a recommendation about the coronavirus. In my opinion, we should. Here's an example answer. Continue to use masks and wash our hands regularly. 
and also extend the period of social distancing until the virus has disappeared. Most of you did 17 fine. A few people lost one point on 16 because they didn't give us the counter argument in the full detail. Okay, next. 20. Which sentence is different from the others? A. I strongly disagree with what he said. B. I completely disagree with what he said. C. I totally disagree with what he said. D. I somewhat disagree. Right, now you should have got this one, and I, and I think everybody did, because this was basically the same as the question in the midterm test practice. Okay, so somewhat is different to strongly, completely, and totally. Some places give a blank of $200 or more for texting while driving. Break the law, scared, fine, complain. $200 is a fine. The answer is C. 22, if you blank train travel and air travel, you'll find that traveling by train is more affordable. Right, train travel and air travel, two things. So when you have two things, what do you do? You compare. You compare one thing with another. If you compare train travel and air travel, you'll find that traveling by train is more affordable. Okay, 23. I am blank of height, so flying isn't really something I enjoy much. Some, what, what, this is pretty obvious. Something of heights? Obviously scared. Scared of heights. A car hit my bicycle last week. Fortunately, the blank did not hurt me. Right. I, a car hit my bicycle last week. Fortunately, the safety? No, the crash. People can blank themselves if they talk on the phone while driving. People can cure themselves. Mm, don't think so. People can prevent themselves. Doesn't work. People can solve themselves. No, obviously injure. One way to blank road accidents is to drive slower. One way to prevent, to stop. 27. Choose the correct preposition. Are you excited? Blank the new movie. Are you excited about? Are you excited about the new movie? Choose the correct preposition. On the subway, I enjoy listening to calm music. I prefer to blank with people face to face instead of on social media. Interact. Some customs eventually die out because no one remembers or practices them. Right, now then, 31. This was the question that caused the most problems for people. My favorite blank is New Year. Right, New Year. A lot of people thought the answer was A, anniversary. Sorry, it's B, celebration. My favorite anniversary is New Year. No, in English, anniversary is usually related to marriage or relationships. My wedding anniversary, that celebrates the day you got married. Or you can say the anniversary of our relationship. Uh, sometimes people say it with death, the anniversary, but not really. It's pretty much marriage and relationships. Okay, so New Year is not about a relationship or a marriage, so you have to use celebration. My favourite celebration is New Year. Or somebody could say, my favourite celebration is my birthday. My favourite celebration is Christmas. Anniversary in English is pretty much just for marriage or relationships. So a lot of people got that one wrong, but it's okay. Just try to remember that now. 32, my grandfather's blank did not have mobile phones or microwaves when they were young. Generation. I used my blank email to send a message to my friend. Personal. My personal email. Not my work email, my personal email. Right, we're almost done. 34, write a sentence using this adverb of emphasis. I strongly believe 
So here's an example. I strongly believe that we need to change our lifestyle to help the environment more. I think everybody got this one correct, don't worry. 35, write a sentence using this adverb of emphasis. I'm really not convinced that. Example answer, I'm really not convinced that recycling is enough to stop the plastic problem in the world. And 36, what part of the speech is the following word? Celebration. Celebration is a noun. Right, everybody, I have made this video as short as possible because it's not exactly interesting. Uh, I said that I would explain the rest of our schedule. Tomorrow, which is Thursday, we are going to study Unit 5 in the book. So, you probably can guess how it works. We did Unit 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then we did a midterm test. Now we're going to do 5, 6, 7, 8. Thursday, Unit 5. Friday, Unit 6. Monday next week, Unit 7. Tuesday next week, uh, Unit 8. Wednesday next week, I will give you all of the information about the final and we can do a review of the class. And then next week, Thursday and Friday, is the final test. Now, Thursday is going to be a sort of part one. And you're going to do that by yourself. Friday is part two. Now, the university has told us they want us to do the final test at the university, in the classroom. So everybody, next Friday, you have to come to Sungshil. Okay. Um, I will explain everything about this test in more detail next week. But the most important thing is you have to come to Sungshu University next Friday. The date of that is July 17th. Okay. Now, personally, I wish that we just could do it online. It doesn't make much sense, but we are following the rules. Okay. All right. We will talk more about this later. And... The other thing to tell you is I will email you your, no, actually, I'm not going to email you your midterm test score. What I'm going to do is tomorrow during the Zoom class, I will use the private chat to give you your midterm test score. So when you are doing some work individually in a private chat message, I'll just tell you your score, okay? But don't worry, everybody did great, all right? So no need to worry about that. All right, I'm gonna finish this video now. So just review if you need to, but most of you got all of the questions correct. So well done. And let's see each other tomorrow on the Zoom class at three o'clock. Okay.